Hey guys, this is the episode 3 of the New Life Vision series. Uh, we will talk about the uh, creative industries and why they are lagging in their innovation and why it's time for a big refresh and why we need to start a new life. So let's start with a, a little sketch here. Um, what I'm gonna represent is the innovation adoption curve. And this is very important. It's actually the bell curve, which is used to uh, represent a lot of things in life, which is that usually um, at everything, people tend to be average. And then some people are a little bit better and some people are like at the forefront of things. They are the innovators. So let's, let's look at the innovation curve. So you have the innovators, the early adopters, the early majority, the late majority, and the laggards. So very few people are very, very late. Actually, those people who are our grandparents, they tend to be a uh, big inspiration for people who are here. It's quite funny when you look at fashion, you know, people who are uh, here are trying to go the opposite direction of people here, and people here just need five to ten years to keep up with what, where they are and then so goes the cycle of, of innovation in culture. And so the creative communities or the creative industry, let's say, um, is entering a big crisis, which is that because of the internet, trends are no longer being like this spot here it used to be uh, cultural organizations that were very elitist, that were hiring uh, people, so take for example Hollywood or uh, the fashion weeks, uh, all those uh, infrastructures that were very difficult to penetrate, that had a very high barrier to entry. So if let's say you want to be a fashion designer, you have to attend expensive schools, you have to travel the world, go to the right cities, Paris, London, Berlin, uh, New York and so on. And this very high barrier to entry made things pretty uh, difficult to access for anyone. But actually, if you look at the, the power of creativity, a lot of people from many places of the world could have the capacity, and we are seeing it every day, to occupy those great positions in the, in the fashion ecosystem, to take that example, but the same can be said about arts or any form of creativity. Um, what's happening is that the all infrastructures that are here are actually um, lagging compared to where the state of the art is and where the zeitgeist of cultural trends is moving forward. So one of the main reasons is that if you own infrastructures, you tend to be closer to an industrialist mindset, to a modernist mindset. We are shifting into post-modernity. The way to communicate, the way to consume, the way to form culture, the way to build communities is changing, as we saw it in the first episode, which I invite you to watch if you, if you are starting from here. Um, and so because of this gap and because of the internet that plays this role as an accelerator, what's happening is that now the innovators are here and the average consumer is here and the owners of infrastructures are still here which is why you have so much waste for example the, the fashion industry is throwing about 500 billion per year of products because they don't meet consumer expectations which are here and there is a big challenge to like cross this uh, this gap um, a lot of people on the internet are very fast, they are innovating and they are creating a lot of cool stuff and all those like new subcultures that are emerging from uh, internet platforms including New Life are um, spreading uh, too slowly and getting too slowly into the infrastructure. And so what's happening is that you have uh, people here who are cool but broke and you have people here who are somehow stealing the ideas of people here to make uh, money with it, to sell it to brands and trying to get money from either advertising or collaborations and stuff like that. And so the people who are here basically will never access this place because they don't have the network or they don't have the connections to the, uh, let's say, the money environment. 
And so obviously this is going to intensify because you have new layers that are forming, culture is changing, and the people who are here are going to struggle even more. And our goal at New Life and what we are trying, one of the things that we are trying to solve is to allow people to get very quickly, quickly from here to a position where they are starting to generate an income and have their cultural uh, value, their cultural capital recognized and uh, having a capacity to connect horizontally with others uh, as opposed to um, waiting for someone at the top to give you the power, the money and, and everything you need to, to thrive uh, to make sure that this can happen with your peers very quickly on, a, on an ecosystem. So this is one of the um, main topics and one of the main reasons why we, we can see a lag in the creative industries. Uh, you know, when you, you enter a, a club or you watch a movie, usually the styling kind of is not so cool. Uh, if you uh, go to a club, the music selection is kind of the, the stuff that you were listening to five years ago, which is why people tend to do a much more, you know, private apartment uh, parties. Uh, club owners, again, they are the owners of the infrastructures and they are not keeping up with the trends and with what uh, people are uh, interested in now. Um, so the second part I wanted to talk about in this episode is uh, the concept of idols and how they can be extremely profitable for industrialists and for um, uh, creative industries and how they kind of uh, are incompatible with where we are going now. So we talked about the bell curve. There is another um, uh, rule that's uh, also in nature everywhere, which is the um, Pareto distribution. So let's say you have uh, 10 singers, uh, 10 creative people. So this one is a singer and he has this level of, let's say, uh, cultural capital or fame or skills or whatever you want to call it. And you have this one and you have this one and you have this one and you have this one. The difference between all those uh, artists here is actually um, not so big. Uh, of course, this one is much higher than this one. But let's say this is someone who's like at 3 and this one is like at 12. What happens with uh, the Pareto distribution is that that creator here will have access to much more opportunities and to acceleration coming from all over the place. So they will get access because they are the number one. They will have access to um, you know, music labels, record deals, they will have access to everyone will want to talk about them in the press and uh, social media, it will drive a lot of traffic to their social network and because they have a lot of traffic on their social then uh, all the brands want to send them the best clothes in the world and then the best stylist want to work with them and the best photographer and they do an amazing cover on their, on their disc and so on. So because of that, because those people are being somehow left out to a certain extent, of course it's not like completely uh, binary, it can be uh, uh, graduated, but if you are uh, beyond that line, what happens is that everything comes to you and the impact or the value that you receive from uh, the world, from the fans, from the, uh, the world and so on, is that you will get about 0.5 and you will get here 10 million. So does it mean that the value here of that person is um, 20 million times higher than that one? No. Uh, as we said at the beginning, it's like maybe four times better. So this one is four times better than that one. But because of the Pareto distribution and it's a law of nature which is pretty cruel, that person gets 20 million times more. And so now the question is, is it fair? And is it the way things should be? Big philosophical question. What we believe at, at New Life, and it's, it's just an opinion, is that um, in fact, all those people, they are not separated. 
they are actually part of a, of a whole. And I would go even further as saying that each of their fans, each of the people who spend time, so to, to stay in the music example, uh, all those people who will curate or give them likes on SoundCloud, what they are doing actually is recognizing the quality of what they produce. And because they recognize this quality, they contribute to the big artwork, let's say, which is music and, and the whole ecosystem of ideas and sounds and all that. But also that person has maybe worked with melodies that come from a long time ago. They might have used uh, samples. Maybe there is a, a producer who has worked and contributed to that uh, music. Um, so it's not just one person. It's an ecosystem. It's a network of ideas. And all of this working together has contributed to that person being there. And so the question is, how do we uh, reflect that and what technology can help us understand and redistribute things uh, more fairly? And what if we said that actually everyone would deserve some part of these 10 million? And I don't know if it's dollars, if it's followers, it doesn't really matter, but it's like value. What if we will uh, create a new infrastructure? And the, the current ecosystem, so let's take again the music industry, has no interest in doing any of that. Because think about it, if you had to pay millions of people, uh, giving them like one dollar or two dollars change everything. If you have to give them $1,000 or $2,000, it changes everything. Meanwhile, if you create a model where this person is an idol and everyone else is like a follower, throwing money at them, going to their concert, paying the tickets, and you create this relationship where you have this like very high um, Pareto repartition uh, in, the, in the economic model, then what happens is that this artist will get maybe one million of whatever and the labels and the uh, infrastructures that support them will get maybe 9 million. And when you have 1 million you don't really complain, you are happy, you are getting all the fame, everything, you don't complain that much. If you want to deal with all those entities and have millions of people, they might want to ask for more, they might want to negotiate, they might want to... Uh, they will represent some kind of um, uh, collective power that you don't want to deal with. This kind of power is just one person. If they are not happy, you can just switch them for someone else. So this concept of idol is extremely profitable for corporations and for infrastructures the way they are today. And so this is another factor that contributes to culture stagnating and not moving very fast because um, profit. You make more money, you have more radio uh, playing your music and then you get more money and you pay the best lawyers in the world and you can go and chase all the music producers to uh, claim ownership on intellectual property and this is basically the old life in which we live currently and that we are going to get out of which is what we'll discuss in the next episode. The internet is changing this, but people who are the new stars or the new micro stars or the new forms of artists and people who contribute to culture are extremely distributed, extremely decentralized, and um, they are usually not receiving a fair compensation because the infrastructure is old. And it is time to come up with new forms of infrastructure that understand the future where we are going. And so this is basically what we are going to, to discuss in the, in the next episode. Uh, to summarize where we are at, so this was episode three. Um, next episode is going to be about the collective curatorial creativity. So exactly what I started to describe and how it actually works and how it can uh, work with the technology. Then we will talk about the new life ecosystem and how it works, how the technology is going to solve all those problems. Um, and then we'll talk about the uh, creative coordination, which is the only way things can work. 
And finally, we will have this uh, roadmap and overview of where we are at, where we are going uh, with this platform. And that will be everything you need to know about the new vision. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.